Hey everybody, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is a video sharing my ratios. I've been having a lot of good luck running races with the Mopar drag car. This is very close to final setting for what the game will actually run once we do the database wipe, fix a lot of the bugs, and start everybody over like it's a normal game rather than starting everybody over with like 10 mil. So, I wanted to share the ratios and give you guys a little bit of a teaser. As you can see, my Mopar ran a 6.207. That's my best ET so far with these ratios. Um, it's a fun car. I like racing this one. I thought it was more fun when it had NOS, but it doesn't have NOS. <laughs> it's not supposed to. The only thing that might change is these were actually supposed to be turbocharged with a little bit of boost. We believe 7, eight, seven or 8 PSI. We are still working on figuring out what that correct boost number is for getting them to run correctly. But if we just leave it as it is right now, it's already running basically bang on what it's supposed to run. And so far, it's a car I'm very much enjoying. <clears throat> so when it comes to the Mopar drag car, you can go in, you can just buy it. 250k at least for right now until we figure out things later and then once you buy it make sure it's your selected car and just come to accessories grab your magic gearbox that's all you need there are no other parts at the moment that are able to be purchased on premium cars i don't know if we'll make gauges possible they weren't originally possible only through a glitch but as of right now only the magic gearbox can be purchased for this not even tires. So, once you do that, go back to your garage, go to your tune and dyno, make sure it dynos out at around 1398. I have a little bit of HP uh, issue, so it's a little lower, but or a little engine damage. But these are my ratios: 4009, 2.245, 1.1, uh, 1.42, 1.03. 0 0.818 and 0 0.649 with a final of 3.004. Yes, my mile per hour is lower than a lot of other people. <clears throat> but I'm getting good ETs and I'm averaging these ETs. Whereas some people, yes, they get lucky and they get like a 6.201. But they get that once and then their average ET is actually coming out to be about... 6.23 6.24 i'm averaging about 6.22 every single race or faster with these ratios because it tacks out a little bit at the end so let's go to the racetrack a perfect leaderboard run is 6.19 in this car the auto foul i think is like 6.16 i'm not sure what we're gonna set that to come on you want to run clutch down, rev ever so slightly, and then shift as close to that rev limit as you possibly can. This was not a good example of a run because I stuffed first gear, but I always run clutch down in this car. And there is like a perfect little happy medium of where you want to rev. You don't want it to be bouncing. Uh, I stuffed third. 6.234, great average. You do supposedly want to run all graphics off. You want to run um, no sound as well as for some odd reason that lags the game. Yes, my game looks smoother than yours because I was testing a 60 FPS client. But that will not actually impact you in running this on the regular 30 FPS. The reason we don't release the 60 FPS is it breaks NOS. The nitrous in the game just doesn't work properly, and you will empty a 200-shot NOS bottle in a very quickly. Uh, I think in about 8 seconds. So any car that is slower than 8 seconds, you run out of NOS before the end of the race. There we go. Like I was telling you, 6.22s. As long as you nail those shift points, do that little bit of a rev just before it bounces. So you want to like click here, make the little orb in line with this line put it like right there if you go any more than that it starts to bounce 
I haven't really tested if that bounce is good or bad. Let's see what happens. And what do we run? Okay, so that little bit of a bounce is not a bad thing. But overall, you want an ever so slight rev. That's all you need. Ew, 625 and bad shift because I noticed my bad RT. So, good ratios overall. These ratios should hold up, maybe with a slight tweak to the final drive. Maybe I'll edit these ratios later on once uh, the game drops and maybe we figure out boost because that will change it ever so slightly. But other than that, we've got everything else correct for the car and we're not really worried about its performance and we've been having a blast racing this with people that actually have it set up properly so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm trying to get another good et in here because well whatever um terrible stage but I'm against the ai so it doesn't matter you want to shift as close to that rev limit as possible obviously same ET twice in a row. Look at that quad timer. If you ever played Legends, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's try a lot of bounce here. That felt weird. It felt like I shifted early, but it didn't feel like... Huh, weird. It felt like I shifted early. 6225. That's the fastest in the video so far. I wish I would have gotten that 6207 or whatever it was on video, but oh well. Maybe a little bit of bounce isn't a bad thing. And yeah, so I think we're good with that. That's a good example of what this car can run. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are ready for some fun racing in Nitto 1320 Challenge. And can't wait to see you guys on the strip. If you send me races, send to the Mopar if you want to do head-to-head. -head. I do have another Mopar. Unfortunately, there's not a way to differentiate the two, I realized. This one is a bracket car. This one is not. Um, I think you can differentiate them um, here. Oh, you can't look yourself up. Ooh, police chase outside my house. I swear I don't live in that part of the city. Um, okay, you don't come up as yourself in here anymore. I was going to try to use that as a cheat to show you guys which car to send to. Obviously, you can tell by the average GT. This one's much slower. This is my bracket car. If you guys want me to make a bracket video on how I set up this car, let me know. It's a perfect 8.9 index car. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.